Hey guys, Matt here, back for another Tea Talk Raw, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, a subject that's that's been uh, a controversial one over the decades, in the last couple decades, in the Transformer community online and uh, otherwise, and that is scalping, and that's something that I'm going to be talking about today with an, uh, a lifelong fellow Transformer collector, somebody who I really owe a lot of my... Uh, uh, my passion for the Transformers too, and that's my older brother Nathan, hereby and afterwards referred to as Big Nate. And we'd uh, we'd like to uh, just just have a dialogue right here, see what you guys think, give our opinions, and and uh, see where it goes from there. So, Nate, how would you or Big Nate, <laughs> how would you uh, define scalping? Well, really, uh, buying up several of the same figures and then trying to resell them at a higher price. I think that's really what comes to mind when I think of scalp. Yeah, for that sole intention of of buying up figures. How much have you seen of it, like on <coughs> on uh, in the Facebook groups and eBay in, in recent times? Quite a bit, actually, especially uh, in a, in another group I've seen both in Transformers and in GI Joe. Something I'm I'm a fan of both of and and I've I've witnessed a lot of yeah scalping yeah. it's something that really permeates the hobby and the collecting community uh, across the board nowadays and people have different definitions of it you know and it's it's I think it, it kind of a lot of it comes down to intention and and that fine line between what is uh, what the intentions are when you purchase a figure and what they are not you know we've we've seen uh, I've seen I don't know if you have uh, Guys, just uh, years ago when the uh, McFarlane movie Maniacs line was out, guys down south where we're from in our hometown just buying up the entire waves as they come into the store. That's my first real experience with seeing scalpers in person. Have you ever seen some scalpers in person, Nate? Well, you know, I couldn't definitively say they were scalpers, but you, you kind of get that impression. when Again, when you're buying up everything on the shelf and – I, you know, I believe wholeheartedly that's what they were doing to, to resell them, you know, and a lot of that has to do with intention too. I think, you know, yeah. you know, if you're army building, that's one thing, but you know, if you're going in there to buy and to just or to resell it at a higher price, I think it's, it's kind of shady. Yeah, I was absolutely. And, and another point <clears throat> I was going to touch on here is, is, is that old Dan Larson philosophy? That old point is, is is just being courteous and leaving one for the next local collector, and that has a lot to do with it too. You know, if you're buying up, even if you're troop building, you can leave one there on the peg, unless there's only like a couple to begin with. But you know, if there's three or four, you can still army build without snatching up and clearing out pegs. In my opinion, how do you feel about that? Yeah, really. You know, and like what, like you said, what Dan Larson says, and even if you go back into the, you know, I, I read the Bible, you know, do for others as you'd have them do for you. You know, you'd want someone to leave something for you, you'd leave something for them. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I mean, it's 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 a real fine line to walk to uh, between the definition sometimes of what scalping is and what it's not. Uh, but... Uh, I, yeah, like I don't. You said you didn't. You didn't uh, ever see any in person. A guy's actually scalping in real life. You know, I I believe that. I was under the impression that the guys that I saw were scalping, but I couldn't say for sure. Well, you remember last year when the the, uh, and I know we're this is a Transformers podcast, but we had the we we're part of that that the the, the GI Joe uh, collectors corner too that uh that I began last year. Or we began really. And we, there was a big problem with that Cobra Infantry, that Target exclusive Cobra Infantry Trooper. I know you remember that. Oh yeah, yeah. And we went to, uh, I think we went to a Target uh, in a town away from us, and and there was one case there. And the guys that we came across were actually pretty cool. We split the case up, uh, the one case we did find. But I'm glad that figure in particular is a lot easier to find now. Yeah, it's ironic how the price of that figure went down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure did. But uh, as far as Transformers go, I, I, man, in in in, in recent times now, I remember seeing, uh, I know the Netflix Bumblebee was a big issue with that figure uh, as far as people scalping. And the Netflix Soundwave, too, in recent memory. Uh, what other figures may come to your mind, though, about that? Because I know um, 
the price on that Netflix B and that, and that sound wave have increased dramatically because of scalping and stuff like that. And I've seen those prices on eBay kind of skyrocket, you know, since then. Not so much for the sound wave, but that Bumblebee's gotten pretty crazy. Last time I looked, anyway. And you think of a particular figure, a uh, Transformer that's come to mind? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, uh, it would probably take a little time to think about, but yeah, uh, not not immediately right off the top of my head. No, it's all right, bro. Well, uh, there's a there's a big there's a there's a big moral dilemma. You know, it's something I touched on in yesterday's tea talk, where a lot of fans nowadays are kind of quick to yell out scalper when it might not be essentially scalper. It just might be a guy trying to get his money back on a uh, a figure that he may have gotten a, a two of by mistake or or whatever reason. You know, and you got to factor in things like shipping cost and and uh, uh, gas price, of course, but but especially now, you know, because gas prices have gone up a little bit. But I don't think the gas thing is too big a factor, and we didn't ask anybody to go to the store for us. But it is a convenience thing when we order something online and expect it to be delivered to us. So I don't mind paying a premium for a figure. I don't know if you do. Yeah, a little bit more, but what are your feelings about it? No, I don't mind paying a little bit of a premium. And 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 going back to the scalping thing, I I, I think at times it, I might be a little bit quick to call someone a scalper. You know, I don't want to like, be accusing people. You know, they might be getting several some for their friends and selling it to them at cost, or you know. I, I, so I, it's, it's something you want to be careful about. Not not put be quick to put a label on someone. But uh, you know, it a lot of it has to do with intention, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion on this subject, and what do you guys think? Uh, not, uh, Nate, I appreciate you being with me tonight and uh, today, and uh, going to have you back for more in the future, I believe, and, and, and see how uh, see what our, your feelings are on some other stuff, man. Appreciate it, brother. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Uh, God bless. Tell all our one.